Welcome to File Ohm's GDPR IQ Thought Leadership Series on how to tackle the EU General Data Protection Regulation. Here we will learn best practices and gain practical advice from our experts for organizations of all sizes all around the world. This video discusses the key terms you need to know. Let's start with personal data. The core of GDPR is to protect personal data. Personal data is data about living people, who are also known as individual data subjects or natural persons within GDPR. They can be identified directly or indirectly from personal data. For example, a name and address identifies a person directly, whereas an IP address can be used to identify a person indirectly. Every business holds large volumes of personal data, such as employee data, customer data, or supplier contacts. In many cases, businesses don't realize how much personal data they store or where it all resides. Within GDPR, data such as health records, political views, and religious opinions are considered sensitive data and need special care. For example, we all value the privacy that healthcare professionals offer when we speak to them. We wouldn't want our private discussions to be made public. Processing is a widely used term in GDPR. This means any action performed on personal data, be it storing the data, editing it, sharing it, or even simply viewing the data is considered processing. Under the GDPR, an organization could be a data controller or a data processor. Essentially, a data controller is responsible for the data it holds. If it shares this data with a third party who processes the data on instruction from the controller, the third party is called a data processor. If, for example, you use a third party to run a marketing campaign on your behalf, they are acting as a processor and you would be the controller. Another common term you hear within GDPR is consent. Consent is one of the six lawful bases of processing data. It must be a positive action that is freely given, easy to understand, and granular. That is, you should seek consent for each different purpose you intend to use the data for. Let's discuss consent boxes. On online forms, pre-ticked consent boxes are prohibited, as highlighted by this image from litmus.com. The box on the right is pre-ticked. Consent cannot be considered a positive action if there are pre-ticked checkboxes on the form. Websites with pre-ticked checkboxes or combined privacy policies and terms and conditions need to be updated urgently. Personal data breach. This is a term for all businesses to fear. If an organization has a data breach and data subjects personal data is lost or stolen, this may lead to financial loss or other harm to data subjects, such as identity theft or the release of private information into the public domain. Data breaches can be very costly. The Equifax 2017 breach in the US, which led to a loss of over 143 million customer records, has forced Equifax to spend over $200 million on security measures since the breach. We hope you've enjoyed this GDPR IQ video. Feel free to share your comments below. Looking to become GDPR compliant? Allow FileOM experts to guide you on your journey.